Have you ever noticed that some cartoon characters grew up as the animated series progressed? While in some shows, we have characters that seem to have entered a dimensional limbo where time stood still. Ash from Pokemon knows all about it. <laughs> That's not the case with Rugrats, a Nickelodeon cartoon, the same creator as SpongeBob SquarePants. In the show, we see Tommy, his bratty cousin Angelica, and a group of babies who are discovering the world and doing some pretty gross things. <laughs> but in the show, Rugrats all grown up, we see all the characters from from the original show in their older and more grown-up versions, 10 years after the original series. Even Tommy started to have hair. These are just a few of the shows and characters that grew up over time that we've picked out to show you. Digimon. We have other characters who grew up throughout the shows, such as the characters from Digimon, precisely the rival of Pokemon. The Digi-Destined from the first season in 1999 throughout the anime itself, age and grow. Some of them return in the second season already older, and they still appear older in subsequent seasons and some movies, which really shows that time didn't stop for them. You have not changed, little dude. Huh? <laughs> the Powerpuff Girls. We couldn't forget about the Powerpuff Girls. It's a shame, but they also need to grow up. And we're not talking about their anime version called Powerpuff Girls Z, where they are also older, but rather the episode where they become teenagers. Tell me about it. Like, that's what I said. Hang on a sec. Bubbles, quick, look. Steven Universe. Steven Universe is one of those shows that left a mark on many people's childhoods. One of the cool things about the show is that as time goes on, the protagonist develops and grows. So when the series Steven Universe Future was released, Steven was already over 16 years old and had grown a lot compared to the original series. Ah, I love Bring it this song. Bring it you mean this commercial? Turn it up! Toy Story. Hold on, hold on. We know that toys don't grow, and we're not talking about them here. After all, they're not the only characters in the movies, right? But we want to talk about Andy, the owner of the toys. Throughout each Toy Story movie, we can see how he grew up, until the moment when he had to do something extremely painful, having to give away his toys. So, you really think I should donate these? It's up to you, honey. Whatever you want to do. Phineas and Ferb, the two Inventor brothers and their pet, Perry the Platypus, a secret agent, were very successful for a long time, but they also grew up and even started developing feelings for girls. Anyone who watched the show always knew that Isabella had a crush on Phineas. Could have been together. All you had to say was when. The Simpsons. The Simpsons are famous for predicting the future several times, which is quite bizarre. But in the show, we have several episodes that take place in the future and we see various characters, especially the kids, in their grown-up versions, and even becoming parents, like Bart and Lisa, who had a daughter with Milhouse, <laughs> and even little Maggie. Static Shock. Static Shock was the first black superhero from DC to have his own show. The series is about Virgil and how he and his friend Jason become metahumans and use their powers to protect people. The show is really cool, and over time, we see that Static Shock grows a little throughout the series, but it's in another animation that we see the character truly mature in the fourth season, when he travels to the future to save himself. It is shown that in the future, he becomes one of the main leaders of the League, and he even looks stylish as an adult. He's definitely a hero that I would like to see in a movie someday. The show was really awesome. I, I have so many questions. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Ben 10. If there's one character from the world of cartoons that grows throughout the season's release, it's Ben 10. Of course, that was before they rebooted the show. But in the original series, as the seasons went on, we could see how Ben Tennyson, who was a little 10-year-old boy at the beginning, ends up becoming a teenager and a much more skilled hero in Ben 10 Alien Force. And not only him, Kevin and Gwen too. You little... <laughs> Watch your language, Tennyson. He's just a kid. We even see the adult version of Ben, Ben 10,000. He even becomes a father, and the boy's name is Ken Tennyson. Family Guy. Even in one of the most outrageous cartoons of all time, we have episodes that show what the teenagers and the Griffin family's baby will be like in the future. But there's a special focus on Stewie since he's still very young 
we can see his teenage version, and also his version 30 years in the future. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. The three nephews of Donald Duck are historically some of the greatest adventure seekers in the Disney world, as we can see in DuckTales, both in the old version and the new one. But what some of you may not know is their teenage version in the excellent show Quack Pack, where they and Donald Duck participate in a series of hilarious and nonsensical situations. <laughs> Seriously, if you haven't watched this show yet, it's really good. Winnie the Pooh. The same thing we mentioned about Toy Story applies here, as Pooh and his companions are stuffed animals. But just like Andy in Toy Story, Christopher Robin, the little boy from Winnie the Pooh's adventures, also grew up. But this wasn't shown in some future season of the show, but rather in a movie released in 2018 called Christopher Robin, An Unforgettable Reunion. We see him as an adult, helping Pooh find his friends like Tigger and Piglet. I won't ever forget about you, Pooh. I promise. Not even when I'm a hundred. Regular show. Mordecai and Rigby definitely left a mark on many people's lives. Seriously. A show that turns rock, paper, scissors into an invocation ritual isn't normal, but at the same time, it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> then finish it. Unfortunately, after eight seasons, the show came to an end. That's why in the last episode, we can see how everyone, except for Skips, who is immortal, aged and had many sons and daughters. Young Justice. Young Justice is definitely one of the shows where absolutely all the characters grow as the seasons progress, forming relationships and even changing their alter egos, like Robin, who becomes Nightwing. We can see various heroes who were teenagers and part of the Justice League support team, becoming important members of the Justice League. I understand. You're a superboy. You're not supposed to have feelings of sadness or vulnerability. You don't know what I feel. Doug. This is definitely one that only the older ones will remember. Doug was certainly one of the best cartoons from many children's childhoods. Originally, it was on Nickelodeon, but starting from the fifth season, it became a Disney show. And that's when the characters underwent a growth spurt and became a little older. They went from being preteens to actual teenagers. <laughs> If you haven't watched it, give this cartoon a chance. Besides being a lot of fun, it has one of the best opening theme songs with a really cool vocal. Max, Goofy. Disney created a cartoon called Goof Troop, where we meet Max, Goofy's son. Those who were around during the TV Cruise era will surely remember. In the show, we see that he is approximately 11 or 12 years old. But as time goes by, in a Goofy movie, we see him a little older. And in an extremely Goofy movie, he is entering college, showing that he has grown over time. There's nothing that I wouldn't do if it was getting you to notice. It's really cool for those who grew up watching the show. These were just a few of the cartoon characters that grew over time. Comment below with any character that wasn't on this list that you'd like to see in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the upcoming videos. Until next time, bye-bye!